We are now talking about minimal invasive and no downtime. We're talking to Bell Medical in the sponsored segment. Wendy Edmonds, thank you so much for being here. Well, it's amazing to be here. It is amazing yeah. at this wonderful spot. It and really we are is. getting ready. You can feel the spring is in the air. It feels Summertime so nice. is approaching. <laughs> so we want mom and dad bod ready. We do. We do. How do we do that at Bell Medical? Well, really, we're in the business of improving self esteem. Um, making sure that people feel wonderful in their skin, great about who they are. And every one of us have stubborn areas of fat. So we have a way of pulling that fat away permanently, but minimally invasive. And it is life changing to see it happen. What have you seen when patients and clients come in and they have that stubborn spot, that place that just won't go away? They've tried everything possible. Yes. Um, what have you seen as they come through? You know, the biggest thing we see is guilt. Like they think, if I just won't work out a little bit more, eat a little less, this stubborn area is going away. But in reality, what we have found is that it is impossible to get gone on their own. So if we, if they partner with us, they remove that stubborn fat, belly fat in particular, then they're able to go and see the work they've done underneath that stubborn fat, the muscles that are actually probably already there, and just, you know, a way to improve their goals. And you talk about the transformation, the befores and afters, that's where the proof is. It really is. And when you talk about uh, improving the confidence and also your health at the same time. Right, it's a huge boost to all of it. You, you know, you can improve your health with removing stubborn fat, You, what you see in the mirror, your mental health. And we've just seen husband and wives come in, both men and, you know, man, women and men, and just transform their bodies. Wendy, men are coming in too. Does yeah. that surprise you? I mean, it, yes and no, but men, we call it a dad bod makeover. Um, and we have a lot of fun with men because, yeah, it's a little embarrassing. I think men are like, oh, is this for men? But men, it, it's amazing to see the transformation when you go after that belly fat. We're showing pictures of Christy and AJ, right? Yes. Before's and afters. Was that a team? It was who a team. really wanted to get their bods in shape. You know, not initially. Christy came in, she had had enough, she had had her fourth baby, nothing was working, and she came in and all of a sudden at her 90 day appointment had lost 10 inches. Christy went on to lose 50 pounds because of the, all of a sudden her body was changing, she felt confident, she started playing with her kids again and doing all these great things. And her husband, her husband then went and said, I want to try this. So he tackled his stubborn areas. When he wasn't even convinced in the beginning, but the transformation that Christy went through Correct. completely changed his mind. And now both of them are looking pretty darn good. Yeah, and their confidence is, you know, it's like they walk around just completely different people. And you think that it is unattainable financially, but you make it much easier and affordable. You know, Let's talk about the big sale that's we, coming. We do. We, we try to do everything to make it a good experience, including the price. The big sale, a mommy makeover is $69.95. Dad bod $59.95. If you mention ABC, you get an additional $200. But I mean, that is a transformation of a body. We are permanently removing fat cells and we're doing it with little to no downtime. So it is worth the investment in your body. And when you also talk about little downtime, it's minimally invasive. That's a big deal when it comes to, hey, I wanna get this done. I'm a busy mom. Um, can I go in and look this great without all the scarring? Right, and, and that is what happens. We're able to go in through a little punch hole and vi gentle vibration and we remove the fat. There's no guessing, there's no gimmick. It is permanent. Wendy, why do you do what you do when you see the transformation and lives changing? Because of changing lives. It's a business of changing lives, helping people feel better about who they are in the skin they're given. It's, it's the most incredible job, really. I absolutely love it. Okay, where do they go for all of these sales and also to book their appointment? Bemedical.com. That's easy enough. Again, yeah, yeah. $200 off yes, for their ABC. procedure. Yeah, please come in, just have a conversation. It's easy, low pressure, and it's really a good experience. Wendy, it's good to see you down you here too. in Southern Utah. You too. Oh my gosh, thank you again to Bell Medical for sponsoring this interview. We have so much more coming up here in Ivan's Utah at Black Desert Resort, coming right up on GTU, the key to a new home in sunny St. George. What kind of community you can buy into 
for a first or second home. Then come to play and stay at Black Desert Resort. What to expect when booking a room? GTU is live in St. George and back after this short break. Stay close, everyone. I'm sitting down now with Sue Gatchel from Fieldstone Homes in this sponsored interview. And we were just saying, we've been talking about beautiful Southern Utah here on the show for the last hour and a half. The only thing left to do is move here. That's right, <laughs> just move here. You need a home, yes. you need a home yes. so in can help Southern you. Utah. <laughs> this is such a gorgeous place. Isn't it awesome? It is. I mean, look at this, Nisha. I know, your views are incredible and the lifestyle here in Southern Utah is so incredible too. All right, so entice us with Fieldstone Homes, brand new project. Uh, this is the first time Fieldstone has ever built in St. George. Yes, we are here, Fieldstone is here, we're so excited. We have a wonderful project in Devario, Rosalia Ridge. We have 46 home okay, sites. Okay, so describe where that is. Sunbrook Golf Course area. So we are on the west side of St. George, not very far from here. So you are close to biking trails. You are close to these gorgeous red mountains. We're just a few miles away. So I just golfed, I told you, at Sunbrook, and I didn't golf well, but I just golfed at hey, Sunbrook. you got out there. Yes, I got out there. And this is just a little bit past. It is in such a gorgeous spot. So 46 lots mm -hmm. and just started. No model home yet. Nope. Uh, it, under construction, we will should be in our model by June. We have four specs out of the ground, and we're already selling homes. So we have four homes under contract. All right, so describe the layout of those homes okay. going in right there. One level living down here in Southern Utah, which is what everyone wants. We range from 1,800 square feet to 2,600 square feet. We have four bedrooms, three baths, three bedrooms, three baths. We have some gorgeous product that has en suites. We're trying to really listen to the buyer and what their needs are and create these amazing living homes. So here's what I love about Fieldstone is it's not a home you're going to see anywhere else. All of their neighborhoods are different. Yes. These designs yes. are totally something you haven't seen before. Yes, love it. 
upgrades, beautifully designed. They are just putting every detail to attention into them. It's it's a great development. So Sue, walk me through one of the homes yesterday, and you just it's what halfway done? About yeah, halfway? Yeah, yeah, we're at four way. And mm-hmm. I what I love too about Fieldstone is how big that great room space is. I know, and that's the a wonderful light. One. Yes, the kitchen was huge. Yes, yes, and that's what people want here. They want indoor, outdoor living, big open spaces, entertain. It, that's what we're delivering. What would you say makes Fieldstone stand out from other builders? Well, the craftsman, craftsmanship for sure. Their quality, their design, they're just an amazing company to have build a home for you. Um, their attention to detail, customer service, bar none. I would agree. Yeah. What are buyers yeah. down here asking for? When you're meeting with buyers that stop by the sales quality. office. Quality, no question, really. quality. Quality, and then of course we have a product with our, our ADU, our accessory dwelling unit that is a glorified, I love to just describe it as a glorified casita, and that is such a huge hot ticket item down here. People want to relocate to St. George. They might want a a place for friends to stay that is completely separate from the main living area. They may want to bring 85-year-old grandma, have her come too, but she wants her own space. She wants to enjoy all this, but she doesn't really want to live with them. So this totally delivers. Fieldstone is fitting into how you live. Totally, yes, yes. I mean, they're really listening to what people want when they're relocating to Southern Utah. Okay, they also listen to this. People said we want a pool and they're putting it in. There's a community pool at yes, this, in yes. this neighborhood too. 46 home sites, one community pool, and it's just gonna be awesome. So many people say to me, we want access to a pool. We don't want a million people having access to our pool, but we don't really want one in our backyard. And so this is the perfect solution. We'll have a community pool with some shade, gazebo areas. It's gonna be awesome. You don't have to take care of it. Yeah. Just show up and Just show up and sit down and enjoy. And spring is the best time of year to come to Southern Utah. Okay, so where should people go if they want to know more about this area? Well, you can, fillstonehomes.com. You Mm -hmm. can definitely go to our website. You can reach out to us. We can give you the VIP treatment and have you out to our development. Well, so you go anytime, everybody. You don't have to choose a time. Sue will be there in the sales office. Oh, I live and there, yes. You live, you yes. live there uh-huh. now. I live there. And mm-hmm. you say to Sue, I know lots are flying. Yes, <laughs> yes. So I need to get one now. Yes. Reach out to me. I'm happy to meet you at any time. Um, of course, we have our sales office open Monday through Saturday. abc4.com slash GTU for more on this sponsored interview. But go check out this location, Fieldstone, finally in St. George and building this beautiful neighborhood. Sue, thank you so much. Thank you, Nisha. Coming over to the golf course to see me. Savvy, what's going on in Salt Lake City? Let's send it back to you in the studio. I think I have an eye on one of those St. George homes as well. Thank you so much, Nish. Still Smart. ahead, we want you to feel supported in your workout. Today's Runners Week feature is for the ladies with how to find a proper fitting sports bra. And forecasting change in St. George when it comes to ABC4 News, how we are teaming up with Black Desert Resort. Find out more when GT returns.
Welcome back to the show. Get out and enjoy the warmer weather all while exercising in fitted comfort. I went out to Salt Lake Running Company in this sponsored interview as Runner's Week continues. Take a look. I'm here at Salt Lake Running Company in Salt Lake. I'm with Natalie Mellum. We're talking about something really important today that especially the women out there will want to listen up for. This store is incredible. You have just about everything when it comes to athletic performance. You have shoes, you have apparel, and all the things in between. But today, specifically, we're talking about what we need here, which is support. Yes. So first of all, tell us the importance of finding a good sports bra when it comes to whatever type of activities you're doing. Absolutely. Well, the important thing to know is we think about bras as equipment, um, not apparel. Because for half the population out there, having a supportive, comfortable bra is just as important to your comfort and your performance during your activity as your shoes are. And if you don't have the proper support, you're going to lose both some speed and some stride length in your step. Brooks calls it the hidden mile. So they have figured out in their research that for the amount of miles in a marathon, you lose an entire mile if you're not in a supportive enough sports bra. Is that right? Yes. And that's something you definitely want, don't want to be worrying about, whether you're at the gym or running. And this is very specialized to each individual's needs. So what I love is I came in here to Salt Lake Running Company and you asked what I was looking for, what amount of support I want and am comfortable with, and then you go through a custom fitting experience. Walk us through what that's like for customers. Sure. First, we ask you if um, what activities you're looking for so we know how much support, um, whether you just want a simple pullover bra or if you want one with adjustability. We carry bras both with compression style support, which is just, you know, kind of pushes the breast tissue into the chest wall to hold it, which some women like that traditional fit. And then we have bras with the encapsulation style support that provides support all the way around to prevent bouncing. And that tends to work the best usually for larger sizes and for higher impact activity. Natalie, there are so many options, but I love that you kind of honed in on what it was that I needed. And here's the thing, we're all shaped, we have all shapes and sizes that are different. And especially when it comes to finding a good bra, you want one that fits you perfectly. So when it comes to that measuring, of each individual person, how are these bras sized? I know we have regular, small, medium, large, but these ones actually, you can get customized to you. Yes, when you need a bra that's more specific to your size than just small, medium, large, because just because your band size increases doesn't mean your, the cup size should. Um, most of the Brooks bras come in individual band and cup sizing, and we fit all the way from 32A up to, we have a couple even in 42Fs, so a wide range of sizes. And it's amazing, that, you know, just like they say with all bras, most women are wearing the wrong size of bra, which in sports makes all the difference in how much support you're going to get. So it's important to sometimes get some help if you need to get that size nailed down. First, we have to nail down the band size because that's going to stay whatever bra you pick. You're going to need a certain band size. And then we get the cup size correct to fit from there. And sometimes it's hard for women to know. Um, they get this bra on and the band's sticking out in the front and they think, well, the band size is just wrong. It's too big. But actually, it's that the cup size was too small, so that's pulling the band out in the front. So sometimes Sometimes we all need some help just getting that fit narrowed down. And we're happy to measure you to help you find your size or talk you through measuring yourself. And we have a nice guide in all of our fitting rooms that help you look in the mirror and see, okay, how's the strap supposed to fit? How is the band supposed to fit? And how should the cups fit? And when you get that perfect size, it is amazing. Yes. <laughs> you will feel comfortable and like you can tackle the world. Us women know the power of a good bra. Another thing that I loved about these Brooks bras is that it has that cup already sewn in. We all yes. know the pain that it is when you're losing those padding and not be able to find it. And so that has it just nice and secure. But there are several different styles that I wanted to show our viewers. We talked through some of the Nike styles with those cups that are already built in, but one brand that you pointed me towards was Viore, and I think this set might be coming home with me, <laughs> but talk about where you might wear this style. Sure. Um, the Viore bras we carry aren't going to be as high support as the Brooks bras, so they, you, unless you're pretty small, you won't want it for your high impact activities, but it's really popular with um, women wearing it to the gym or just all day comfort, plus they come with cute matching outfits. This so. green is <laughs> so cute, but I think that's so important to really hone in on what exercise you are doing and what your needs are. So if you're doing some of those higher impact exercises like running or maybe working out and jumping, you'll want something right here on this Brooks wall, but you also have something if you're just lounging and wanting to be comfortable. Yep. Yep, and all of our bras are um, high quality with materials that are going to wick and help keep you dry, ventilated. 
You have completely fitted me today. I'm feeling so <laughs> confident so and wearing a bra that fits me. Thank you so much. And you're doing a really cool event that kicks off at the beginning of April and tell our viewers about that. Yes, in April, we will have the Bra Bonanza that runs for a week at all our locations. You can come in anytime to get fitted for a bra. All of our staff are trained to help women with bra fittings. But during that week, there will be some extras like a free gift with purchase. If you bring in two, an old bra to donate, you, um, you will get a $5 towards a new bra. If you buy two or more bras, you get a free chocolate bar. So just some extra goodies and promotion for bras that week. This is so exciting. Thank you so much for chatting with me and thank you to the Salt Lake Running Company for sponsoring this interview. You can find all this information and more on our website, abc4.com slash GTU. I absolutely loved working with the team at Salt Lake Running Company. They took good care of me. And you too can get fitted with shoes or attire for your style. Salt Lake Running Company is offering a $300 gift certificate to two lucky viewers. All you need to do is hop online to abc4.com slash contests to enter to win. And we wish you good luck. Up next, heading back to St. George for a look at the fun things to do and where to eat when staying at the Black Desert Resort. We're back in two. Furnishings and set design for Good Things Utah provided by Gatehouse Number 1. everyone to the live show whether it's business or pleasure at a stay at Black Desert Resort to your list in southern Utah and joining me now in the sponsored segment is Riker Brown the complex food and beverage director at yes. Black Desert Resort welcome thanks for having me it's been so fun chatting with you yeah it's been great and let's talk about all the restaurants and and all the the places that you can stay here at Black Desert Resort? Well, I'll tell you, the restaurants are going to be phenomenal. We have a lot of variety that we're opening. We're opening up uh, in a few months. Um, we'll have five restaurants that we're opening up with. All variety when it comes to uh, fast casual uh, to quick service to fine dining. Um, they're just going to be um, phenomenal um, opportunities. And what I'm hearing, some 20 restaurants here. You need people to work for you. We need. We need. We need Shots an army. Opening. We need an army of people uh, to work. We're opening up our chef position. We've hired an executive chef, uh, which I'm thrilled about. And then we're going to hire more chef de cuisines for the restaurants, general managers, um, and anywhere from management to hourly associates. We're, we welcome everyone. You're 
Because of the Black Desert Resort, we're infusing 700 jobs here. It's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot of people. Uh, close to about a um, little less than half of that just for food and beverage, just to support that. But housekeepers, uh, security, um, all, all of these things that take to, to run an amazing resort like this, we, we need to hire a lot of people. And Riker, you've been all over the country. I have. Opening up different <laughs> resorts and different places. Yep. You say here in southern Utah, there's nothing like it. I don't think I don't think there's anything like that. One, I mean, the natural landscape that uh, that you see, you don't see that anywhere. And like like you said, I've I've lived everywhere. I've lived from California to Florida to Tennessee, and I've been fortunate to work with some uh, some amazing places. But nothing is quite uh, quite as special and unique as St. George. There will be one hotel here. Yes. But lots of places to buy condos yes. and rent. Talk a little bit about that. What are the number of rooms here? So we'll, we'll open up the, the resort uh, with 148 um, hotel rooms and then uh, we'll also have um, uh, condos that we're selling and then we rent rent out so people can stay there. Um, that'll open up with around less than 60, uh, 60 of them and then we'll increase up to uh, in the next uh, in the next year up to 800. So we're gonna have a lot of um, uh, a lot of people be able to stay at Black Desert. The scope of this project right. is like no other. Yeah. What can a family, once this is all said and done, what can a family expect coming here? Well, I, I think that they can expect to feel welcome. They can expect to feel home. Uh, they can expect, uh, an, uh, of course, an amazing food and beverage experience. But they'll be able to, uh, they'll be able to expect an amazing hospitality experience. They'll be feel, feeling welcomed, and a lot of variety of activities. Uh, when it comes to golf, uh, we're building water parks. We're building lots of restaurants. Um, so you're not going to uh, run out of things to do here. Okay, let's go back to the restaurants. So yes. anything you desire. It will be here. It will be. It will be from uh, sports bar themed um, to family dining uh, for American comfort uh, food to a luxury steakhouse. Uh, that's going to be our signature restaurant. Okay, and going back to job opportunities, yes. if someone just heard, hey, yeah. maybe I want to live in Southern Utah, or I'm already here, I would like to work for Black Desert Resort, what should they do? What so, can they do? So you can uh, go online to uh, pyramidglobal.com and uh, listed there, you go through the filters in, in Ivins, Utah, and you look up Black Desert Resort, all of our positions are posted. Um, we, we actually have positions posted right now, and then in the next, uh, next several weeks, we're gonna post even more positions, so. The positions are one thing, but who are you looking for? So we're looking for people who, uh, one, of course, they have they have to have some experience uh, with that. And even if you don't, we're looking to partner with um, Utah Tech uh, communities, uh, community colleges, uh, students, interns. Uh, we have we have positions for anyone. Um, really, if you come with a desire uh, to learn, to grow in hospitality, uh, that's who we want. We 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 want you here. Oh my gosh, start them young too, right? right? right. <laughs> <laughs> you got that going. Yeah. And then how many restaurants by maybe the spring when you have 20 restaurants coming up and you're working on several yeah. at the same time? I don't know how you do it. Yeah. Which ones will come online first? So we'll. Uh, so here at the golf course, uh, we have two restaurants, uh, golf course restaurants, Club 73 and Oasis, and then we'll open up uh, Latitude 37, uh, Basalt, and 20th Hole, all opening up in August. Um, and uh, the golf course restaurants will open up in a couple Couple months. This is what drives you. This is it. This, this is, is it. I love it. I this love opening. I love. I, I, I love every aspect of it. So. And, and amazing. And how exciting is it to see all the process happening right now before your eyes? Well, I think it's. I think it's an honor just to be a part of a very, very special project and be able to have the trust of the owners and the support of the owners to be here from a very early stage to be able to uh, design the the menus, design the restaurants, uh, and really to design a great culture that we want to be known for uh, when people come to work here. Uh, uh, they feel welcome as well, just as much as the guests do. The people who come here uh, that want to work for us, that uh, uh, they have that sense of belonging. Okay, Riker Brown, everyone, the food and beverage director here at Black Desert Resort. Sign up and get yeah. that job application in right now. Right now, right All now, right. please. Thanks, Riker, and Thanks. thank you to Black Desert Resort for the sponsored interview. Much more ahead on our live show in Southern Utah. There's one more expansion project at Black Desert Resort. We are sharing how the weather forecast is playing a huge role when we come back live in Ivins, Utah. Don't go anywhere, everybody.
Well, I've had the best time being live here at the Black Desert Resort in Ivan's over the last two hours of Good Things Utah. And Patrick Manning is sitting with us now from Black Desert and also my boss, the general manager of ABC4, Mark Danielson. And we're talking about an exciting partnership between our station, ABC4, and Black Desert. Mark, tell our viewers about it. You know, Nish, we could not be more thrilled to be working with Black Desert and Patrick and the whole team here. You know, ABC4, we have a vision to become, you know, indispensable to the communities we serve by setting the gold standard of excellence in journalism and really while embracing the community. And really, it's about community, which made this the ultimate and perfect partnership to grow and make Black Desert really something for everybody. But we're gonna be expanding and growing and investing in Southern Utah like never before. And Black Desert really makes this all possible. All right, we're gonna talk more about what that means for you viewers out there in just a minute. But Patrick, why partnerships with the community? Why is that so important to you? Well, I mean, Black Desert's a, a huge resort, but really it's about the impact that it can make. It's leveraging its, its size to do good for the community, and, and partnerships like this with ABC4 are just at the forefront of what's important. We want to be synergistic, we want to be collaborative, and we want to show up where there's hurt, and we want to be able to help. And so partnerships are everything. How will this one benefit Black Desert? Oh, wow. So uh, having ABC4, I mean, am I, am I spoiling it here? But having ABC4 here uh, bringing the weather from the Black Desert Weather Center 124 times a week, I mean, yeah, that gets, it gets everybody understanding what Black Desert's happening like on a daily basis. You already have my boss in your gear. <laughs> so you're doing something right. He's got the hat on. Okay, let's do the big announcement. What does this mean, this partnership, for our viewers and those that watch ABC4? So we are going to be announcing today that we are building a Black Desert newsroom and Black Desert Weather Center, which will be located right here in the spectacular part of Southern Utah. It really is just mind blowing. And it's so important to me that we really showcase what the environment, what the community is doing right here. And this is really what's going to allow us to make this just spectacular for everybody. Mark, ABC4 has had a presence here in Southern Utah for quite some time, but what you're saying is this is growing. This is a bigger commitment to news and weather here in the Southern part of our state. Absolutely, we are growing and we are expanding. And some other things that are kind of behind the scenes that are already happening. We've installed and established a new fiber connection connecting our facilities in Northern Utah with our new transmission site. In fact, we're building a new transmitter up on Webb Hill out here, that, which is going on right now, just to expand and increase and improve the coverage. It is a true investment because we know how important Southern Utah is to the entire state. It is just incredible. Well, they're part of Utah, right? Yeah. They're part of our state. And Patrick, I think I'm sp you live here, but I'm speaking for the, all those in Southern Utah that say thank you for covering what we're doing here in Southern Utah as well. Yeah, it's awesome. And I love that ABC4 is showing up for Southern Utah. I mean, it, you have been for a while now, like years, mm -hmm. but really expanding. And, and I love the focus that the state is starting to give Southern Utah because we deserve it. I agree. There's a lot going on down here and a lot going on here at Black Desert. You took me to the construction site yesterday. So one of our cameras is going to be on top of, is it the hotel and the restaurant when it's finished? Yeah, so the resort center is, is houses of several restaurants and um, the 360 camera is going on the roof of the highest point of the hotel. And as I understand it, you can tell a little bit better, I think, but uh, I think the weather is coming to you, starting with that 360 camera view of Black Desert. It's so cool. I mean, it was windy yesterday. We were up there. Yeah. <laughs> we are up there with our hard hats on because they're still putting it together. But I mean, the red rock, the lava rock, the greenery, I mean, all of Southern Utah, you can see from that camera. And Alana Brophy is going to be down here in a couple weeks to kick it all off by doing the first weather forecast, Mark. Yeah, we, we could not be more thrilled to just expand this into showcase what's really happening here every single day. It'll be unique. It'll be a first for, for Utah and just fantastic. You also need to send Nisha to Gehring down here several <laughs> days of the week. I think we all need to be coming down here all the time. In fact, yeah, I'd like to have a place over uh, here, right? The backdrop is absolutely incredible. Remind our viewers again before we go to break, what is taking shape here around us at Black Desert, Patrick? 
Uh, well, we're in a hurry to get uh, a lot that. of this done for the PGA Tour in October, October 7th through 13th. And we're going to be opening just like a week, literally like a week before the PGA Tour gets here. About 450 rooms, five restaurants, a convention center, a spa. There's a whole lot happening all in about a two-week uh, window and it's uh, a bit insane insane honestly, but we'll do it. I feel like you never get nervous though You don't look nervous No, yeah, I hide it. Well <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it is? It's the black desert hat. So you two what do you do? Do you handshake on this partnership? Do we do that now? No, we hug. Yes. Okay We're huggers, We're huggers right. at black desert. So I'm so excited so Cannot wait to see this all come together as ABC4 makes a huge commitment here in southern Utah on this partnership with Black Desert. Thanks, you too. We'll be back with more everybody from southern Utah live on Good Things Utah next. Flooring for the Good Things Utah set provided by Floor and Decor. to thank our sponsors for this hour of Good Things Utah today. Black Desert Resort, our host, Salt Lake Running Company, Fieldstone Homes, and Bell Medical. We appreciate you being part of GTU. We've had the best time here. Nisha, I was just Utah. thinking that I am more excited about this place than ever before for the last two hours showcasing what this area offers and now Black Desert Resort here with all the incremental things that are happening before your eyes. It's just amazing. Like I want to come back next week and the, and the week, week after, after and the week after. What's so cool is you got a behind the scenes look that not many people get because yes, the golf course is open, but nothing else quite yet. It's all taking shape. The first restaurant, Sarai, I think opens in 30 days ah. and then just just more opening day after day after day headed into that PGA event coming up in October. Talking with Riker, who does all the restaurants here, he says, I need to have several projects happening at one time or he gets antsy. So, so yeah. Did this talk you into taking golf lessons? N maybe. No? I hear there's 
also mini golf that's going to be here as well. So you can find me on that green. This is the driving but range. Nisha. We're sitting on the driving range, and I've I haven't golfed here yet. I don't know if I'm good enough, but no, uh, please. <laughs> you let's do some driving. Patrick range. may let me sneak yes. on. I'll we, ask him. we might. Okay, let's talk about why people are coming here. The top reasons why people are moving to Southern Utah. Black Desert Resort might be one of them. Okay, so one, the natural beauty is beyond awe-inspiring. And that's what Riker said. There's no, no place like it. You see the red rocks, 360. It just makes you happy. Like it you does. wake up and this is your view every day. Well, you have the national parks very close by. Mild winters, that is probably number one on the list as well. Of Where do we go from Park City to Southern Utah? Let's go to the mild winters. It's just warm. Yeah. Okay, low crime rate, definitely family friendly. Job opportunities. Did you hear some 700 jobs? Coming soon. Yeah, coming, coming very soon. You know that's why I sent my daughter, well, I mean, she got to decide, to Utah Tech University, one of the safest campuses in the country. Mm -hmm. So that's why I love sending her here. Before we send it back to the studio, I wasn't with you during the eclipse yesterday. And apparently it's watch? better. Yes, we watched, but I think the view was better down here. So I was doing a shoot at the time, but I was driving up to the shoot and the sky just changed. Mm. Like, I don't know if you noticed it, Southern Utah, but it just kind of got a little funky all of a sudden and you knew it was the eclipse. Have to tell you, during that eclipse, Bonnie Tyler's 1983 song, Total Eclipse of the Heart, number one on iTunes because everyone had to play it while they watched. Sure. Right? I mean, when can you, except during the eclipse? I mean, you can play it, but. And we're not even in the path of totality. I mean, if you were in New York, if you were in any of those states, I mean, you had to blare that song while oh, you saw yeah. it. Yeah, I think still I heard it on the radio and more and more during the There speech. were weddings, there were engagements, there were big <laughs> announcements made yeah. during the eclipse. <laughs> And uh, not eclipsed at all by what we did here at Black Desert Resort today. We've had the best time. Dina and Savvy, the only thing left to do is invite you two down here mm -hmm. to sit with us on the golf oh, course. Oh, well, next time we are coming. We've had a little bit of FOMO. It looks so beautiful, the warm weather. Ladies, you've had such a great time. We Just sure squinting out here a little bit. That's all. And, and grab, it's getting warm. Grab Very, my sunglasses. Which is totally yes. what we now need right so now with our cold <laughs> weather, our cold spring weather. Oh. I am a huge fan of St. George and will gladly join you guys oh. in St. George. Speaking of sunny St. George, I don't know if you know this, but that's kind of like mine and my husband's long-term plan. We want to settle down yes. in St. George. Okay, I've heard you say this, but you're serious I'm, about it. Serious. You love it that much. And we have friends that we've gotten on board as well that would love to join us. And so our dream is to settle down in a neighborhood with all of our favorite people in the warm weather, with a pool. It's all the things that we like to do. And so I picked this article for just that because this couple of friends just they were wondering how it would impact their friendship to live that close to each other. And this is what they said. The intertwining of our lives brought a richness I didn't expect. They loved being neighbors, and there's just something about being able to call to go on a walk, call for help with your kids, and just hang out without it being planned. Well, it's that connection and community that we were talking about earlier that's just so important. You know what, you might have also sold me, you know, the warm weather, the retirement, the easy, kind of slower I pace. Did. You're going to join me, you're one of my people. See, I just keep recruiting my favorites. Fine, she did <laughs> it again, another one, signed up. Uh, how much fun was today? Our Minute to Win It Challenge. The ladies in St. George, they're on their way back now. Drive safe, you two. Join us again on GTU tomorrow. Thanks for watching.